Welcome back, guys, to Trails from Zero. Well, last episode, we took on a stalker investigation, having learned that someone had broken into Ilya's apartment. Working out the route of ingress for the possible thief after talking to the other residents of Villa Maison to spring a trap in which Lloyd grabbed the intruder. Showing the boy to the stork star, Ilya decided to let Sully live with her, seeing potential in the youngster, as Lloyd found himself to be the subject of ire due to Sully actually being a girl that he recklessly grabbed. The Chapter 3 Day 3 Patrol now continues. Sure thing. What's Grace up to? Well, if it's my favorite four. Excellent work yesterday. I just added the finishing touches to my heart pounding. Oh, no, we are going to be. Yeah, but we won. But then I guess that labels us as causing a fracas. I just added the finishing touches to my heart pounding article about yesterday's race. Really, Grace? We got another article in the book, sir. Can't say I didn't see that one coming. You betcha. We're featuring it in our extra special issue set to release on the last day of the festival. Your little adventures always make for superb stories, so I'll be keeping a close eye on you. She's building us up just to tear us down, isn't she? That has been the pattern thus far, yes. Great. Uh, I can't see the stage well of all these other people around. I wonder if I can stake out a better stop around here. Like here? Here? Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Time to check out all the hottest spots this festival's got. Off we go, Reigns. Be sure to keep up. Yes, ma'am. So there's another edition of the... Uh... Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Be sure to snap plenty of photos and fork them over to me later, okay? I'm counting on you for some quality shots. <laughs> so I take it that means it's... So on the last day of the festival, there's a paper. That's what she said, right? So do I have to have it handed in before then? So on the fourth day. Yes, now these photos definitely capture the culture of Crossbell. Wow, that performance was incredible. They're going to rake in a ton of points for sure. You can do it. Do what? The Business Owners Association is sponsoring today's performance. There's no way I'm missing this. Apparently, all the participants get discount coupons for the food stalls, and I'm here to collect. Aren't you being a little too greedy, Mama? Nah. Our next street performance is bound to excite. Please welcome a professional escape artist. If I could get a volunteer from the audience, please. Yesterday was a bit of a nightmare, but things seem to be operating more smoothly today. Everyone's having a good time, so I think it's safe to say we've moved past that little incident. Oh, was there not a quiz then? Did I miss a quiz? You're an escape artist, are you? Don't look like one to me. Hey you, I bet you're feeling pretty hungry. I've just got what you need. Nothing beats the taste of grill steak on a stick. Go on, live a little. That's what a festival's all about. Is it now? If you want to place an order, you better make it quick. The sun'll be setting before you know it. And then where will you be? Skewerless! So you say. My little sister's a pro at bringing in customers. She's been a massive boon to our business. Right, let's head down. The ship to Michelin will be arriving at the dock in approximately five minutes. We thank you for your patience. Well, this guy's not having his fishing disrupted then. I've decided to spend the rest of my days planted right here on the water. I don't need to go gallivanting off to anywhere else. Come on, Grandpa. Let's walk around for a bit. Nope. There's this place I want to check out. Please, you got to take me. Nope, not happening. Ah, stubborn as always. I was really hoping I could get to play with Grandpa. Oh, I hate when he gets like this. He's as stubborn as a mule. Would it be fair to say he's just a bad grandpa? I quite enjoy the scenery around here. This seemed like a nice spot for a rest. I'm tucking out after looking around at all the stalls. Once you manage to break away from the crowds, Crossbell's atmosphere is actually very pleasant. I guess the city and Armor could both have their pros and cons. Oh, maybe I should bring some souvenirs back home for Camille and Pulley. You should. And the kids coming round to the, 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 uh, the village life by the look of it. What if it's not Heroes of the Day? So how about it? Care for a scoop? I'll even give you a discount. Oh, a scoop. You mean like l ice cream? Okay. You had it pretty hard yesterday, didn't you? Your chivalrous deeds have spread across the whole city, you know? I'm proud to snow. Wow, this Mithra is more beautiful than my own wife. 
that what? Is that fair to say? What's wrong, Dad? I'm confused. That's about to leave your mum. What's going on with Anton today? I've been in Crossbell for three days now. The city rages on, but I continue to stand by idly. Was I not supposed to change? Why am I still the same old Anton? In the peaceful light of the ever-shining sun, in the days of failure, hang in there, Anton. Adios is rooting for you. Man, nothing beats a good poem. That cheered me up a little bit. In order to change oneself, the change must come from within. I mean, it makes sense when you say it, but how am I actually supposed to do that? Poor guy had his heart broken pretty badly. I guess this whole poetry thing is an outlet for him. To his credit, he's kept at it a lot longer than I thought he would. Anton's a fickle guy. Well, regardless of whether this all works out, Anton hasn't taken into consideration how he'll pay for his living expenses. Well, I can tell this is going to take a while. I'm sure Anton will call for me once he's figured out what he wants to do. In the meantime, that bench is looking comfy. I think I'll take myself a nice little nap. How can he be a professional Anton follower? Hey everyone, I heard about yesterday's event. Sounds like you had it rough. I won't try to pry any details out of you, but given the ecstatic look on Grace's face, I think I understand the situation. Oh, really? Can me impress? I was bracing myself for the worst when Grace showed up to be the MC. I guess in the end, though, we pretty much handed her a scoop on a silver platter. When you put it like that, it makes me feel used. How irritating. We should have, may have her pay us back somehow. Oh, I'm with you there. Let's have a treat us with some free information next time we see her. <laughs> this might be the first time I've seen anybody say something like that when it comes to Grace. Alright, I don't want to submit yet, because we're sure we can get more. But then I only found two more one looking. Oh, you have some business here or something. Sorry, but things are a bit hectic right now. I don't have time to take care of visitors. McKinnon does not have time for me. I guess that leaves us with the IBC. Should we look at that 200 of everything we got as just pure tradable funds? Mr. Cloyce has left for the day. His schedule is filled to the brim with parties and negotiations again. Even when he doesn't have to fly all around Zamuria, his work still gra drags him all around Crossbell. Between parties and negotiations, Mr. Cloyce can't seem to get a moment of rest, especially so during the festival. Even when he manages to stay in the state, there's no time to rest. It's pretty tragic. There's our embraces. Someone just tried to waltz onto the elevator without any kind of authorization. Ah, oh, damn Taurus. Do you read the sign? It says it right here. Entry is prohibited. Well, it's not like they would have been able to operate the elevator without a keycard anyway. <laughs> I'll exercise my right, even though I know for a fact there's no one up here, right? See, I'd expect that to be a view, but I guess it's more about the natural. They really should keep the... Well, actually... I was about to say they should keep their offices locked, but... Of course, there's not that many people with a keycard that can go up here. They keep the floor locked. But then they gave the floor to us. Since the Ormal Network's still in this developmental phase, we run into a ton of different bugs and issues. Case in point, this hacker we've been grappling with all day. Now, where could they be coming from? We have a research facility over in Lamont State that's directly connected to the network, but... No one over there would ever try to hack into the network, so that's a bust. Apparently there's been some kind of hacker trying to force their way into our systems all morning. Alright, I'll trace their location and get their data. After all, the first step in a war against hackers is to drag them out of the shadows. You see, I was originally an academic researcher. One day, Lady Maliabel appeared out of nowhere and offered me a position at the IBC's tech department. The IBC's Ormal Network aims to connect terminals throughout Zamuria in order to transfer customer data in an instant. Once I heard about it, I knew I couldn't sit still and allow for this opportunity to slip away. Honestly, I've never even been more proud of work on something other than the... <laughs> I've never been more proud of work on something than the Orbital Network project. There we go. Not other than. I've been working my butt off to make sure I repay Lady Maribel for scouting me out in the first place. And also because you're afraid she'll crack the whip and get you. And so you have to say it? Or you're doomed? Does that count? Oh, 
stock prices have skyrocketed during the anniversary festival. However, it has become much more complicated to find the right stock to invest in. <clears throat> in other words, for as much of a profit there is to be made here, I have no way of ensuring I'll see any of it myself. Ah, the prices are fluctuating too violently to predict. What a predicament! There's tourists from all across the continent here to check out the festivities. A few of them came in to ask for directions earlier. Man, I don't think they had a clue of where they were going. It was a real pain to help them set them on their way. So at least it's way calmer in here than it is out in the city. We received a request from one of the companies within the building today. The sooner we can leave, the better. All of these newfangled gadgets make my head start to spin. Newfangled gadgets? Speaking like that, you would think he was an out-of-touch elderly man. I wonder what floor the client is on. Maybe I'll ask the receptionist. It's just a job type. Supposedly there are people who make a living entirely off of trading stocks. Can you really feel accomplished by owning mirror like that? It's a world far beyond my comprehension. Maybe they get their thrills by gambling on the stock market. Well, no matter the reason, it's still a world far beyond my comp comprehension. One of our customers yesterday caused me nothing but problems. He didn't really understand the concept of a savings account, let alone a bank. He kept saying stuff like, just give me the money already and wait, what's a bank account? The anniversary festival attracts some of the most exhausting people. They're clueless, so I have to hold their hand for everything. Hello and welcome to the International Bank of Crossbell. Both the CEO and Miss Royce are absent today. If you'd like to speak with them, they're currently on their way to St. Ursula Medical College. They should be getting there any minute now. Are you always going to tell me where they are? That's not bad. Right, I need money again. So I'm going to take my 200 payment from that place. Look at like how much I've got in these categories. I'm just going to point out. So I'll take my 200 payment from these. That'll give me a fair whack. But I'll also take... I'll flatten this out. So I'm going to flatten this out to be 2,000 for all of them. And not take any from fire because that's the one I need to build up a little bit more. Because this really matters me doing the extra numbers. And that should allow me to buy like wall clocks and stuff, right? Which we, we totally need. Totally need. You're, you're missing fire all the time too. I guess it is the lesser element here. Right, so that should be the Harbour District and the IBC. So now we case the Admin District with Alios over here in City Hall. And take our urgent quest on. Does it taste good, Abby? I want to try some too. Will you share? Okay, I'll share, Mum. Let's eat it together. Mum bought me some ice cream. It's so tasty. Does it taste good? Makes you wonder, like, how uh, much of this day we've got less, considering what we experienced in the last day. So, uh, your uncle ain't over here. I can never concentrate at City Hall. It's far too noisy there, so I figured I'd try to work here. Anyway, the diet budget meeting begins next week. Look how hardworking I am. I'm even relocated to try and get more work finished. Crossbell has been at the forefront of trading as far back as the Middle Ages. Its geographical advantages made it an important trade center for the western part of the continent. As if Man and Mira naturally gravitated here. That fact remains unchanged to this day. I see she was buying the thing then. Sorting through return books is much more difficult than you might think. I must seize the opportunity to reshelve them while business is slow. Oh, you're not upstairs or downstairs? He's... I guess he's checking the festival and you're manning the whole library. Ahem. The symposium is being held at City Hall today. Specialists and experts from all over the continent have gathered at the mayor's request. Their discussions are bound to be enlightening, so you won't want to miss it. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of formal events, though, so I won't be attending myself. You won't want to miss it. No, I'm not attending. There's an event being run at Sydney Hall today. I know some scholarly looking people gathering there all morning. Did ya? I think it's called Crossbell, now in the future or something like that. 
That's the symposium they're gonna hold. There's some kind of event going on at City Hall today. Staff members have been frantically running around all morning. I've not found anything on this patrol, by the way. Another day, day, another insane crowd. I can't even look away for more than a few seconds without worrying about another massive line for me. You city folks sure are strange. You spend the whole day waiting in line just for some food. I mean, <laughs> at a certain point, I just give up and go find something else to eat. Yeah. I wouldn't queue. Our Morka specialty items are selling well. We even managed to get some tourists to visit the village. I'd like to think we've done a half decent job of promoting our Morka here. Not to mention, we've still got two days left. We sold off a good amount of our special items and got more tourists to go visit the village. I think I managed to accomplish all my goals, with two days to spare too. This near you, you promised to take me shopping, didn't you? So why in the hell are we only going to food stores? Nice shopping. All these police officers look like they're on edge today. Ah, what's the matter with them? Something going on? My senior officer and I are on guard duty today. And I'm going to put my all into it. This is imposing being held at City Hall's reception hall today. May McDowell will be participating, so we've got to keep security tight. Well, can I go in? Ah, uh, yes, I am police. Can I ask that those of you participating in the symposium to be patient for just a little longer? I will lead you to your seats once the venue is opened. Phew. Looks like I'll be able to begin the symposium short smoothly. Not to mention Adios McLean is here too. With him on security, nothing will go wrong. You are required to register beforehand to attend today's symposium. We regret to inform you that we are no longer accepting any registrations. Well, I can't go then. Adios is... Not available. Uh, there are way more members of the media here than I was expecting. We'll have to increase the amount of seating. General Affairs Second Division is busy handling an event today. That's actually pretty rare. Uh, usually we have a lot of time on our hands. Um, we don't have much time left. The attendees should be arriving any minute now. Hi guys, how you doing? Today's symposium will feature Mayor McDowell as well as foreign dignitaries. We've got a spectacular lineup. How long was this there? I've never been in here one time. Was this always open? What? What is this place, Ellie? It's a reception hall. They use it for all kinds of diplomatic meetings. It would appear it's being used for some sort of symposium sponsored by grandfather today. It's just open? Oh my goodness. Oh, is that? I understand the plan. I look forward to working with you to secure the area. Huh, understood. The first division is normally more than sufficient for security. Uh, I hope you don't hold this against me. Can't blame them for increasing security though, given the number of foreign dignitaries in attendance. I'm sure the guild's help was requested to provide extra reassurance for their safety. Spare me the explanation, I'm already aware of the circumstances. See to it that you won't cause any blunders, Sir Divine Blade. Hmm, understood. Yeesh, I wouldn't want to get dragged into that little cat fight. Agreed, it's rare to see those two together, probably because they're like oil and water. The two of them appear to be working together to guard the symposium. We probably shouldn't get in their way. Let's leave them to their work. Oh, I want to look. Okay, so that was that hadn't been opened until now. Oh, was it? Did it have like a thing like this over it? Ah, oh, that's good because I I didn't think I'd be that dumb to miss such that like my entrance and then just see it then. Ah, oh. but every time something like that happens. Grandpa told me that we could stop by his office whenever we like. I'm not sure if he's in right now, though. He's always so busy. Oh, really? That guy should go in and visit him when we're able. Oh, we can go in his office now. Hey, look. The symposium being held today was my idea. It provides an opportunity for bright minds to publicly discuss the current state and future of Crossbell. I don't intend for it to be a politically charged debate, and the scholars from across the continent will be in attendance. And it will be a good opportunity to look back on the 70 years of Crossbell's history. I am responsible for proposing the idea of the symposium that is being held today. It provides an opportunity for bright minds to publicly discuss the current state and future of Crossbell. Well, 
Well, I didn't know I could come in here either. I don't know if I've been able to come in here like in the last day as well. It make make more sense like coming here on day two as well. So I probably missed this. Ooh. And I can't go in there, but I now can go in there whenever I want. Okay, well, City Hall opened up quite a bit. Disturbingly so. <laughs> it's like, I've been in here, I missed that. Oh, I missed the opportunity to speak, mate. <laughs> Seems that other people also had the same issues then. <laughs> and, uh, probably as surprised as I am then. Hey guys, good work yesterday. Sounds like you played a big part alongside the braces in dealing with the delinquents. Well, I'm not sure I'd call it a big part. To be honest, I feel like we might not have taken things quite as seriously as police officers should. Yeah, you might have a point. Either way, I'm pretty sore from all that running around. Serves you right. <laughs> Seriously though, good job guys. It's lies. Rebecca and I have been busy as heck too. Not only did we have that symposium going on today, but we're already getting flooded with questions about tomorrow's parade. <sighs> oh boy. Tomorrow's going to be a toughie. There's a symposium being held at City Hall later today. I don't think the average person's going to be interested in it, but apparently scholars from across the continent will be in attendance. The mayor, the IBC CEO, and Mr. Grimwood will be there participating on Croswell's behalf. The CPD will be in charge of the security detail, but they'll be receiving assistance from none other than Arios McLean. Upper management isn't exactly thrilled about the idea. We have to keep up appearances in front of the other nations. I see that my combat notebook is not good enough yet. Uh, who do I speak to for here for a quest so I make sure I speak to them last? I'm still on a long. Second investigative division. Ah! The first floor conference room. Okay, so... Dodge this room. Go second room. Note that they're probably in that room. <laughs> Good job. I basically evaded nothing. It's just wasted time. Ain't that the life. When did we last save? Well, it's just before the urgent, so it's usually like a point of something. So here we go. Good to see you, Inspector Donovan. We had to ask about that support request you submitted. Are you free right now? Oh, yes. Thank you for coming, everyone. Yeah, we really appreciate the help. So what exactly does the request entail? Judging by the submission, it sounded like it was quite urgent. Yeah, let's have a quick meeting to go over the details right now. Have a seat, guys. Roger. That was telling me we've got some legit police work ahead of us. Now then, about the reason we've called you in today... Well, we want the special support section to help us expose a counterfeit dealer who should be on their way to Crosbow as we speak. A counterfeit dealer? What? Counterfeit dealers are a variety of scammer who put fake logos of famous brand name goods on inferior products to trick consumers. They can potentially deal in any type of product, but tend to favor high-end or luxury goods such as clothing or ornaments. Selling counterfeits qualifies as a minor criminal offense under Crosbell state law. She, she really had all that memorized. Cause yeah, that's the gist of it. Every year, loads of counterfeit dealers try their hand in Crossbell, posing as tourists. High-class watches from the Verne Company, vintage Draeger products, not to mention a boatload of Septium trinkets. Taking advantage of unsuspecting customers has earned these crooks a whole lot of mirror. Born them preying on innocent people just to make a quick buck really ticks me off. Let me get this straight. Who wants to help you take these guys down? Exactly. It has me to say, but we get countless police reports filed by their victims every year. If we leave them unchecked for too long, it's going to hurt manufacturers and retailers trying to make a living too. We need to crack down on these guys if we want to restore people's faith in the CPD. You're right. Okay, I understand the situation. If you truly think the SSS is suited for the job, then allow us to help you. Excellent, I'm in your debt. Okay, so what would you like for us to do? Here's the deal. We narrowed down their point of entry to three spots. Crosswell Station, the airport, and Tangram Gate. We've got the station and airport covered. So I'll let you guys to keep watch of Tangram Gate. The second division is short-staffed, so we can't afford to send people anywhere outside the city. That aside, I'm pretty sure you guys are well acquainted with Deputy Commander Bells, right? Since this case falls under Border Patrol measures, coordinating with a unit will be key. That's why I thought you guys would be a good choice. 
It's as you say. I wouldn't be surprised if she were more willing to cooperate with us than with other CPD officers. Uh, what do you think the odds are that we'll have to be that we'll be able to finish the job without having to see her? Okay, looks like we've got everything in order. We'll start by covering the airport and station. You guys rendezvous over at Tangram Gate and contact the Guardian Force. Understood. We'll depart for Tangram Gate immediately. Thanks, we we'll count on you. See you later, guys. Bye. Okay, let's head over to Tangram Gate now. We should explain the situation to Deputy Commander Bells and request her cooperation. Exposing the counterfeit dealers has begun. Wasn't Dudley interested in this? Was No, he was looking for terrorists next to the thing, but there was a, a guy in uh, Time's Department Store that was always mentioning these dealers, right? Okay. I'm sure nothing will have changed. He says. Knowing that things could change at any time. Somewhere in the world. Tangram Gate is where we're supposed to head. So let's bustle on through. Uh, that's this way. Don't worry, I can direction good. Should I be bustling this much towards them though? Ha ha ha! Let's go to Tangram Gate indeed. Right, so having come to Tangram, <sighs> let's head on inside and speak to Commander Bales. With the guards still yawning and dozing off, it doesn't even look like language and dialogue has changed here yet. Looks like the people haven't arrived either. So we're still not even at noon yet. That's a thing. Excuse us, ma'am. Mom. It means a lot that you're turning to us, Deputy Commander. Sergeant Major Seeker. Nice to see you. Hello, you four. Given you came to see me directly, I assume that something's happened? Yes, actually, there's something we'd like to discuss with you, if you don't mind. Lloyd explained that they had come to Tangram Gate in order to figure out how to crack down on counterfeit dealers crossing the border. I think I understand your predicament. You can count on Tangram Gate's cooperation. Thank you, Deputy Commander. Hold up, you sure you guys can afford to spare the manpower? Don't all the border gates get crazy busy during the anniversary festival? No need to worry about that, Randy. As I'm sure you know, border security is the responsibility of CGF guardsmen who are stationed at the gates. Sure, we may be swamped, but I think it's our duty to be involved with this issue of yours. Well put, Seeker. There's no need for the special support section to have any reservations on our behalf. That being said, we are currently short on hands, so the amount of aid we can provide is limited. Any assistance you can provide is welcome. I know it's sudden, but do you think we'll have an opportunity to interview the incoming passengers from the Republic? According to police intel, the counterfeit dealer should be arriving at Tangram Gate around noon today. Luna, now that you mention it, I believe there is a bus from Calvert scheduled to arrive relatively soon. If your intel truly is accurate, your dealer should be on board. You know, there's a brief window of time where passengers from the Calvert bus have to wait for the domestic crossbell bus line to arrive. Usually, people waiting for their connecting bus head over to the mess hall to rest or have a quick meal. Not that we've got ourselves a plan, then. First, the Sergeant Major will come up with some excuse to escort the passengers into the mess hall. Next, we'll stroll in, not causing any ruckus, and try to find our counterfeit dealer. If you've ever wanted to show off your detective chops, Lloyd, now's your time. Leave it to me. We may have a small window, but it should be enough time to screen most of the passengers. I'm curious to see whether we can pull this off without giving ourselves away. I I'm kind of starting to feel anxious. We still have a little time until the bus arrives from the Republic. If you stay at the gate, you should have enough time to rest beforehand. How about it? I can have beds prepared for you if needed. Well, we've already run our errands. We did make a safety save a bit further back. I guess the actual prompt is time for some R&R &R before the bus comes, but that doesn't sound like exactly the normal prompt to continue on with, you know what I mean? I think we'll take you up on that offer, Deputy Commander Bells. Very well. I'll have someone call for you when the bus arrives. Until then, use your free time to rest. Yes, ma'am.
Welcome to Crossbell State, sir. I'm sure you must be tired from your long journey here. Fortunately, it won't be long until the bus to Crossbell City arrives. If you'd like, feel free to rest up in the mess hall while you wait. I think I'll take you up on that. That all of them? Yes, it should be. Here's the passenger list. You should probably give it a quick glance. Noel pulled out the passenger list and handed it to Lloyd. I appreciate it, Sergeant Major Seeker. This is going to be a huge help. Nine passengers total, and we're positive that all of them came from the Republic. Are you sure you were allowed to show this list to people out outside the CGF? In a way, this is tantamount to the disclosure of personal information. Deputy Commander Bell's already authorized me to give you any information that may assist you in your investigation. And given that no one's name or address is included on the list, we're not leaking any sensitive details. Anyway, or so she said. That's the quick and adaptive judgment we've come to expect from the Deputy Commander. Damn, she's scary smart, man. Alright then, thanks for letting us take a look at this, Sergeant Major. Lloyd handed the list back to Noel. So what, is a list with no one with names, no one with no addresses? What? What's the list of then? Sissies and stuff? Descriptions? It's no problem. Did anything stand out to you? Uh, we're definitely going to need to take a look for ourselves before we draw any conclusions. Well, we should strike while the iron's hot. There's not much time until the bus arrives. We should interview the passengers and try to flush out the counterfeit dealer. Agreed. Let's move out. It's go time. Roger. I believe in you, everyone. Dude, check her out! Oh? You weren't riding on the bus, were you? What? Oh, well, since we got here so late, we decided we'd spend the night. Hopefully that'll fly for now. Hmm, is that so? Well, I suppose that's as sound a reason as any. And like me, madame, what exactly are you doing here in Crossbell? I suppose you could say that I'm searching for a jewel. What sort of jewel are you talking about? A beautiful one. One that can enchant people and rest within this very state. And if I'm successful in obtaining it... I'll have the power to bring a vortex of enthusiasm to the Republic's people. Though I may have to stoop to whatever means necessary in order to see it through. Why is she being so cryptic? I'm taking it she means Arcaciel, right? Ah, I wouldn't think too hard about it. I'm sure she could definitely stoop to any means necessary, right? Final Fantasy X. <laughs> ah, I can't wait until the bus arrives to take me to a land of opportunity. Hey, the Crossbell is the ideal place to do business. Mirror awaits. Excuse me, sir, you're some kind of merchant, right? Exactly right. I deal in rare Calavardian novelties. Seeing an opportunity, I decided to come expand my wares with Crossbell and goods to sell back in Calvert. You run your business by yourself. Is that not difficult? Despite how things sound, I have quite the wide array of personal connections. All the contests I've made across the mirror have given me a huge leg up with business deals, far more than I could have ever expected. If you'd like, I'd be more than happy to show you my wares. I did in rare knickknacks and other Calvadian doodads. All the contests i made across the mirror have given me a huge leg up with business deals, far more than I could have ever expected. If you'd like, I'd be more than happy to show you my wares. 